thanks for the support as a channel member, FM Terrible. Meant to say this on yesterday's video, but forgot because I'm a terrible person. But the Born shirts, don't worry, I'm not selling you any right now. But as you'll know, a, a portion of the proceeds from those shirts is being donated to Bourne Town Football Club just to, as a thank you for letting me use their name, redesign their logo, sell kits, that kind of stuff. Well, when I got in touch with them earlier in the week to say, where do you want me to send your money? We've, we've done the first batch of shirts. How can I pay you? They said, Kev, don't pay us. Can you donate it to the National Autistic Society for us, please? Which I thought was just like an absolutely incredible gesture from a tier 10 non-league football club who as with any club at that level probably could have used the money have decided to donate it on to a good cause instead non-league football once again proving it is the best football thank you very much Bourne Town Football Club for being awesome for letting me do all this stuff with your name all over it and then not even asking for a penny for it and instead allowing me to donate it to a charity that's really important to me as you'll know if you watch my vlog channel so um massive round of applause for them i'm not going to clap right next to a microphone because it sounds awful but if you do get two minutes today head over to my twitter um it, it, the the tweet to them is going to be on there somewhere and just like the tweet let send born town some love on twitter because um they deserve it they've been awesome <laughs> Hello and welcome to part 37 of Born Again. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, it's playoff time, boys and girls. You know what that means. The episode's probably going to be four minutes long because we're about to get knocked out of them. But we are away against Dulwich Hamlet, who, if you missed the end of yesterday's episode when we were researching all this kind of stuff, you'll know we've scored 10 goals against this season so far. And we beat them 4-2 away from home back in February. And earlier on in the season, we put six past them, a 6-3 win back in October. So we're currently, what, 10-5 up on aggregate. It's got nil-nil written all over it, this match because you know how football manager works. Um, but this is the team we're putting out there to try and get through to the semi-finals. Because we finished sixth in the league, it's away games all the way through. If we manage to if we manage to beat this lot away from home, I think I think we're then I, I forget, is it Swindon we go away to? Where's the league table? Um yeah, I think it's Swindon. Although it would be more fun if it was Boston because then it's a local derby, but I don't think it would be. To be fair, Boston versus Bourne as a local derby in the final would be perfect. I don't think we're going to get there, though, because I do expect us to get knocked out. Our form has been pretty terrible for the last couple of months of the season. If we can rediscover February, we'll be fine. But mm, that doesn't look like promotion form, does it? So the team, Anang in goal. A back four of Garrett, Wills, Ford and White. Of course, I sent Dootson on holiday um, in the last video. Um, he will be back for the semi-final. I got my maths wrong. I thought... I thought he'd be back in time. It's not like me to get my maths wrong, as you know. Um, so Garrett, Wills, Ford and White as the back four. Mitchell, Pack, Mundell and Williams in midfield. And then Quinn and Bond up front. I think I probably could have recorded from his holiday. But I just, I'd feel like a monster. He's, he's sunning himself off somewhere lovely and warm. And um, he deserves it. He's had a lovely season. Our record signing. Not here for the most important game in our history because he's on holiday. Imagine if the fans found out that's where he was. We have, as far as as far as the media are concerned, Dutes and his rehabbing an injury. He's got a he's got a tight hamstring or something. We couldn't possibly say, oh yeah, he's not here for the playoffs because he's uh, he's in Benidorm. Right. We are the underdogs. We're doing our underdog team talk special, which. Always works. We've just got to treat it like cup games. We know we're good at cup games, or at least we have been sometimes. This season we haven't been. Mitchell trying to get a counter-attack going, though, charging down this left-hand side. We don't often wear the white shirts. I think the white shirt is my favourite one, um, and it's nice to see us wearing it for the uh, for the playoffs. Um, I do have 3D kits to put in-game as well at some point. Um, request a kit very kindly has put some together for me. I just haven't got round to putting them in game yet, but I'll try and get the 3D kits in game ready for next season. It's something we never got with home and I am quite looking forward to seeing them in the match engine. But, you know, it might be nice for us to have them for the first day in the Football League. That can be our little upgrade 
3D kits, everybody. It would be lovely. So thank you to Request to Get. He's the one who designed the kits in the first place. And uh, yeah, they look awesome. So I just need to get them set up in game. But I'll level with you. I don't know how to do it. So I've got to figure that out, which is why I haven't got around to doing it just yet um it's still nil nil as we approach half time which i'm not going to panic about this ground looks like it's got a lot of people in it and um, bond plays it forward to quinn though and quinn potentially in his last game for the club if we lose today i doubt we'll ever see jacob quinn again mitchell in a crossing position cross comes in can't quite find a white share and now Dulwich Hamlet have the chance to build a counter-attack of their own, but Mitchell is chasing around like he means it. Mitchell has been involved in a lot today. Um, a player who started the season as... Uh, no, I mean, he was started the season in the under-23s, nowhere near the squad, and has forced his way into being a starter. Longalo is a former-born player, I think, and he's just got the assist to put us 1-0 down, which... I mean, I'd rather get knocked out at this stage than go all the way to the final and lose because that's just double painful with bells on. I, we had a, There was a little bit of a discussion about it in the comments for yesterday's video. We're obviously not ready for the Football League. We're not good enough yet. It would be nice. It would be fun to get there, but there's a good chance we come straight back down if we do go up. So not going up this season might end up being a blessing in disguise because it gives us the opportunity to try and go up as champions next year. But it doesn't. It's not going to make it hurt any less. I mean, the referee's called Bourne, for goodness' sake. How is he? How is he not fixing this for us? Perhaps he will as the game goes on. We need to keep an eye on him. Right. We are still the underdogs, but what we are going to do is attack a little bit more in the second half. We've got to try and go for it. Um, I do feel like this might be the dying days of the four-four-two, which seemed to work for a while and then there's been another update come out hasn't there which i think has broken it i think that's why our form fell off a cliff and we might have to we might have to switch to the diamond which we know from non-league legend seems to work in this current version of football manager never before have i had to change tactics so often because of updates to the game um and we're two nil down and i think our playoff dream is over. I mean, they're clearly a bigger club than us. 4,000 people in here. We've brought 200 fans, which is a huge away attendance for us. That's more than we often have at home games. But if you had to pick which one of these teams is more ready for the Football League, it's obviously them. And quite frankly, I don't think they're going to get there either because as we've shown in the two league games, they're not all that either. Um, let's give Jacob Quinn his round of applause. It's the final time we'll see him. I'm admitting defeat already. We are going to, I'm admitting defeat, but still trying to win the game in true Kev style. So we're going to push these two further forward. We are going to go attacking. Um, we probably need to get Cornell on as well. We're not going to, I'm not going to leave two playmakers in midfield like that. I don't know why I've set it up like that. You can be that. No, you can be, you know what? Be that. That, that won't cause any problems at all. And, just cross everything, boys and girls, and hope that we've got a huge comeback on. If we have a comeback from here, it will be one of the great nights in the history of the football club. I just, I'm not feeling it. I don't think it's going to happen. It isn't going to happen. Bye bye, Quinn. Bye bye, 442. We've been really, really poor today. And uh, yeah. I said at the start, a four-minute episode. Have we, we've not even made it to ten minutes, have we? Can't even put a mid-roll ad on this, for goodness sake. Sort your lives out, lads. I've got bills to pay. My word. Um, oh. The problem is, as well, you'll see the length of the video and you'll know we flopped. I might just have to do ten minutes of performance poetry at the end just to pad it out to avoid spoilers, not just so I can put a mid-roll ad on. I'm not that cynical. <laughs> that, that's the perfect point to cut to an advert by the way um that would be perfect if that's how it ends up happening um wills plays it forward bond with a flick on to plange mitchell in a crossing position cross comes over to williams who missed an open goal look at the state of this they've had 31 shots and 66 percent possession it's not even been close we have been in free fall for the second half of this season 
and there is much change that needs to happen at Bourne over the summer. Remember, we were only supposed to finish mid-table this year. So I won't I won't accept anyone saying this is a bottle job down in the comments below. I'll, I put my hands up and admit a bottle job when we have a bottle job. This is not a bottle job. This was a... A season where we had we overperformed at the start using the momentum from the promotion last year and we just ran out of steam and ran out of quality and were never really good enough for the position we got ourselves in. So that is the end of our season. And uh, we rebuild tomorrow in a transfer special. We still have a little bit of money to spend. We still have a little bit of wage budget to spend. And I definitely think we need to rethink the tactics, not just because I'm blaming the match engine, because that is a bit of a cop out. But as has been identified in the comments by a couple of people, the weakest positions in the squad are our, our wingers and we're still playing a wing play system. We've got Cornell, who's as good as these two in central midfield and has barely played. It's screaming for a, a, a wingless system. And I think I think we might be having a little look at the diamond over the summer because... It's worked so well for Spurs that it might be it might be the new meta again. I don't keep my ears to the ground on what the meta is, but the meta might have become the diamond again. And if it has, I'll be very happy because it's my favourite way of playing football manager. But I need to wrap this up quick so that it doesn't look like a cynical push over 10 minutes. It probably is now, isn't it? I'm looking at the time. It's already gone over 10 minutes. Mid-roll ad. <laughs> I'm such a monster. Oh, that's been a that's that's been a disappointing episode. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Don't forget to go and send some love to Born in Real Life because their generous act is I mean it's this it is it's a difference making thing that they're they're supporting a charity that's so important to me and um it is very much appreciated and I want them to know it. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos and of course the transfer special coming up tomorrow. And thank you very much for watching.